So how much is it to? You can use Rally Wing to admire the turn attack turns by one. You can use MP to attack all ground enemies. You can use Shell Slam to attack all ground enemies. You can use Hold Fast Damage Direct Attackers to boost my to boost Mars HP. Actually, we should probably upgrade him first. I forgot he wasn't even leveled up. Jazubi. Jazubi. Care to upgrade more? Well, this might be... Okay, it's still three. Jazubi! Jazubi! Care to power more? Sure. Gumbella, Coops. I'm not really big on confusing enemies, so. Let's give Delta the final upgrade. Should I power up this partner? Yes. Jazubi! Jazubi! Any Miguel. There still must be quite a few more uh, shine sprites out there because, like, Flurry's not even upgraded. Everyone else, um, besides Delta and Bobbery, everyone else can still get up upgraded. I don't think there's any reason to go back to Twilight Town. I don't think there's any secrets there. Good day to you, sir. Is there a tale you'd like to hear? Do you have any new stuff? Yes, you do. For a mere five coins, I will show you the tale of the Demon's Curse. The four heroes thought they had sealed away the demon and all of its powers, but the demon used a tiny opening before the seal was complete to curse them all. By holding the crystal stars, they... They'd feel nothing but when they let them go, a black box would appear to seal their souls within. Oh! <laughs> wow. The four heroes travel the, the world scattering the stars so the seal would remain. But the last four stars which carried the curse which claimed each hero. So that mean that would mean... That would mean each one was a hero, right? Assuming that they are the black chest that we keep opening. The hiding place of many of the crystal stars have now faded into legend. But some say that the wise Goomba hid one in the great tree. At that time, many monsters wandered in the nearby Boogly Woods. The tiny punies were always tormented by their fierce... Appetites? Okay, it was said. Pitying them, the Goomba hollowed out the great tree for the punies to live in. The punies were so grateful that they swore to protect the crystal star there. For a mere five points, I will share with the tales of Pirate King Cortez. The Koopa hero went to a southern island to, to hide his star where none would find it. But the Koopa was so tired from his journey that the Pirate Cortez stole it easily. In the very in that very instant, the brave Koopa was trapped in an inescapable chest. But Cortez did not realize the power of the star and lost it among his treasures. 
And I guess he stopped caring about it then? But that's... That must be it. I want you to meet and speak to someone for me. I'll tell you all about it in my house in Twilight Town. Yes. Kind of the same setup like we have going now of um, just my headset here a little bit. Kind of like the same setup how we had in the first game, at least how I was playing, which was to basically do a chapter, then do a chapter, and then after that, go ahead and like you know, after each chapter, before starting the next one, I do a few side quests like catch up, make sure we're pretty caught up. Uh, do whatever we can and then go do the next next batch do the next chapter and then do side quests start the next chapter you know fuck like we only have two chapters left we only got the last crystal star and then and then the final chapter I have to be honest, I'm not looking forward to um, some of the stuff we'll have to do in the final chapter, and especially in the Pit of 100 Trials. Like, I think I could say now, because we encountered the enemies already, but those... What were they called? X... Those things that fly, that um... That may, like... Let's shout out the little the little things that would give it a shield. Good day, I mean, uh, good desk or whatever. I never know what time it is in this world, weird light. And again, I don't even know what day it is because I, nev I never leave this room. Okay, so it wasn't this guy. Um, but those enemies are just... Fuck. <laughs> I hate them. I assume it's not the mayor. Must be this. No, well, there's no one in here, right? Yeah. Maybe he said in front of a house? I don't know. I've been thinking lately. In my next life, I want to be a strong person like you who helps people everywhere. What's that? I should start now. Oh, well, you know, I'd rather do it next life. Alright, if you believe you have a next life. 40. Oh yeah, you guys have the 41. You know what? We're gonna buy one while we're here. Just might as well. Keep one in my back pocket. I got a laptop in my back pocket. Oink oink oink. Mario was an oink. Mario was the oink bad guy. So Mario is really the oink hero of our village. Oink oink oink. I'm just not I'm getting this at all. Well, Mario, you've accepted my travel request. Oh, it's her? Really? Okay. Well, it's hard to talk about in front of the children. Can we step outside? I need you to help me... I need you to help me to meet someone. His name is... Podly. My former love. Whoa. <laughs> okay. She had the same dream to be stars of the musical stage. We shared our dreams and we shared our wonderful love for a time. In that cramped little apartment, we huddled together, poor but happy. But when I finally got a part in a Broadshow play as a leading lady, Polly left me. He left a quickly scrawled note that said only this. My dear, I would only dim your bright future. Fail well. Oh, Podly, why? My dream was always to be with you, not to be a star that shines alone. I wanted to, I wanted only to shine with him. Success was nothing without him. I left the production while it was in rehearsal. I forgot about Polly and my dreams. 
I got married and lived the life of a housewife, happy in its quiet comforts. And now, I'm surrounded by beautiful children. My happiness is so complete now, I have forgotten about those days. But when I heard a rumor that Polly was running a... Chocola shop in Rogueport, could you please tell him that I would like to see him again? Tell him that pure-hearted Eve has not forgotten her first love. Yes, pure-hearted Eve was my stage name. Please meet with Polly and ask him how he feels about me. Please, Mario. I'm guessing this is it's going to be a bit of back and forth. Sure thing. I always like coming back to Twilight Town, though, so... I just love the eeriness of this place, man. Oh, uh, no. Not that one. I don't think I'm going to do chapter 7 today, but I could see myself doing it tonight. And then, I don't know, I might actually wait a little bit before I do chapter 8, because I'm probably going to be starting work back up. Welcome to Polly's pla Place, an, inter an intersection of human lives and drama, if you will. What's that? What's that you said? Mm -hmm. What is it, Mario? Tell me, you look so serious. What? Eve? Dot 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 for days. Oh man, this is serious. I know so I know no such person. But perhaps you could tell this Eve person something. Tell her live in the moment. And is that all you needed? Because I'm a little busy. Wait. Will I say it again? Damn, I really I fucking missed whatever that said. Oh, um, I know I always forget to fucking do this, but we should go... We should read the board real quick. Toad Bros, Bizarre announced new shipment of bestseller Super Luigi. Get your copy. Oh, we're gonna go by that. Graffiti Corner, sometimes I think I'd be better off not ever sp speaking. Oh, I wish I was still a pig. Horribly depressed. Twilighter. I'm gonna need one of the tonies for the Super Luigi 2. Want to buy it, fella? Fucking hell, man. Thanks, fella. I have to charge so much for it? Does that mean the third one, if there's a third one, is gonna be like... 180... No, I think 192, would it? If that's so, I don't know if I'm gonna keep... I don't know if I'll be buying that one. <laughs> Depends on how much coins I have, because 128 is already pushing it. Have you met with Podley? Really? What did he say? I'm gonna tell her the truth. As heartbreaking as... So, Polly has forgotten about me. Sniff. That's fine. I guess I was just feeling nostalgic. I'll probably forget about it. You know, I have these little ones to think of. So, I have plenty to keep my mind busy. Mommy, so hungry. Food, food. It's always food. We're having a feast tonight, kids. I have a special... I have special dinners from... Zesty's shop. Mario, you have one too. Thank you so much, Mario. You breathe new life into this old girl's heart. Felt the trouble. Yum yum. Why are you crying, mommy? Aw. 
That's sweet. I'm trying to remember, um, is there anything else we could go explore? I'm definitely, um, blanking a little bit. Pretty happy living out here on Kiala Key, but there's one thing I miss. I need a girlfriend. Please come listen to my request. I'm in the storeroom, deep in the cave on Kiala Key. Is it take on Goom Goom's, Goom Goom's trouble? Do it and do it right. So he's in the cave? In the storeroom. Does that mean he's in the where the chess where the the chess was? I'm concerned. Honestly, I need a I need to spend a day or two. Just you going to Kielki, Miko? Excellent. New muy bueno. See we go, Miko. Set sails. Destination Kielke. Also, we need to read the book. Um, muy bueno. Get that. Oh, they built it? Oh, wait, never mind. What am I saying? We already knew that was there. Thank you. I don't know why, I just wanted to see, see if I could go anywhere. Okay, well I assume we should probably go to the town first and just check, double check that. I feel like that would be the safer guess. If I don't go to that cave, I think I want to stay on this island for a while. Oh, hi there, and welcome to have you enter Kiala Kiala. Kill Why? <laughs> Tell, come on, that totally looks like you're meant to, you know, do that and go through. I gotta wonder what that Francisco sees in Frankie. He doesn't seem to like it, like much to write home to mom about. God, sometimes I just, my brain's like, cannot process. Traveling by boat is nice, but I wouldn't mind traveling style by train or something. How funny you should say that. Finally got out of that. Okay, wait, where's that guy? Oi, I get all s squiggly inside when I hear them p pinata pinatas getting a lovely dovey. But who am I to say, right? Must be, must be right nice to be young and in love. Traveling by bows, okay. How's the boss, huh? You know, I just worry about that guy sometimes. Oh, Frankie, our love is larger and deeper than this ocean. Please stop. I mean, I like to be all lovey-dovey sometimes. Quite cuddly. No. It's not what I wanted to happen.
Where is this guy? It says Goon Goom, so I assume he's a fucking Goomba. Hmm. In the storeroom in the fucking cave. In the little set. I, like, I... I swear if I have to come back to this guy, I'm gonna be... Annoyed. Also, there's no enemies. Oh, there's enemies still over here. Look at how that fuzzy keeps falling off. 